Good afternoon guys. So currently I'm walking along Arsenal Street. As you can see to my left is an old uh, historical building. I think this is the uh, Villanueva building. The reason being is that I want to check the uh, current status of the uh, overhead wires here in Jane Basa Street. The reason for that is uh, you've got some good news, a little bit of it, that this area right here along Jane Basa will uh, have to be uh, rehabilitated so all the wires in the future will be gone so they have to remove all of these wires to promote the uh, tourism along uh, this area of the uh, downtown of Iloilo city as you can see there there are the sign of Arsenal street according to uh, initial uh, information I got is that um only i think initially would have to be uh, one kilometer of this part of chain basa will have to be rehabilitated and they have to remove the wires like in this case you can see all of those uh, spaghetti wires overhead so uh, in the future there will be no more eyesores of the wires along this uh, part of the downtown area or the uh, Calle Real initially they have thought of uh, I think the initial budget would have to be uh, almost 100 million as they say based on the report and it would take at least maybe uh, six months of work so probably they have uh, I think like in this pole right here this is actually new so before it was uh, more of the uh, wooden type of poles so it is now in the cement form so probably they are doing the rehab as of the moment so uh, initial estimate says that it is going to take at least six months uh, rehabilitation work I'm not sure of the inner streets but the report says uh, at least a kilometer of Jane Bus Street. As you can see all of those dangling wires and the spaghetti wires. Across I can see that there are uh, a bit uh, organized. But on this side right here, there are lots of them so uh, we'll see in the future so hopefully we will have a better view of the historical and the heritage buildings along Jane Basa and especially on the Aldegar, Aldegar side which is the uh, another uh, I think the another Villanueva building it used to be a hotel and all the rest of the uh, historical buildings over there the Hadoliana building as well To enhance the uh, tourist attractions here in Iloilo along the downtown area. So we'll just uh, do a short walk along this part of uh, Jane Basa. Just to show you the uh, current status of the wires. On the Aldegar side that is already part of the central market going to be currently being uh, rehabilitated as well. If we walk further, we're gonna, this uh, part of the passage will lead to uh, Sunburst Park. I am actually surprised that the uh, posts are already uh, cement. So, uh, 
would probably think this is already in preparation of the rehab so the underground wirings will have to lay down well probably they have to dig the uh, sidewalks and put the uh, underground cabling though currently they have uh, bundled the wires already uh, before it, it's not so uh, I think that is a first step we have uh, a little bit of traffic at this time it's uh, just uh, I think around 3 30 p.m. passing already Guangpo Street which is uh, this street right here then of course we can see from afar the uh, UI or the University of Iloilo building the facade and then just across the uh, Eagle Theater which is this one and then the currently named Regent Theater and then of course the famous Roberto's restaurant famous for the Isopao There are also like I think public parking at the moment so I think it is a paid parking so we are now uh, walking closer to uh, Sunburst Park part of which uh, being used on the Ironheart uh, TV series which they shot along this uh, area of the Sunburst Park. You can see there the Suwagi Iloilo sign. You can see from here uh, some of the wires that are left bundled. have the memorial of the uh, World War II heroes okay so uh, that's just about it for now we'll do some future updates regarding the uh, underground cabling here at the uh, downtown Iloilo area thank you for watching guys